Hello everyone, this is JP from uh, Diecast and Dioramas, and uh, just gearing up to get my channel going, and I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, show you a little bit about uh, what I have, what uh, potentially could be done, and and uh, where we'll be starting from. Uh, starting from actually will be, uh, I've been building these little modules for a hobby desk that I don't have yet. Uh, because I already had the wood, but I don't have the wood for the desk. Um, so I'm using this temporarily. And uh, I do have one of those fancy green cutting mats. I just don't have it down here right now. Um, but let me just kind of show you a little bit of a, I don't know, some of my junk. And then uh, some stuff that, that I have. Not really sure why I shoved all this stuff into a bag, but some of this is projects I think that I had started or didn't start or um, had ideas and gave up on them like this Hummer that I cut in half, don't know why, uh, Diora 2. Got wheels in here. I think this was just a uh, bunch of stuff that uh, I either found or or just got left out. Um, at one time, I had a storage unit with, or kind of garage tent, and uh, it rained in there, and so some of the stuff maybe ruined from that. Uh, these, I think, uh, I think I don't know. I think that maybe, maybe I covered them with stripper and it rained. I never came back, or I don't know, but they'll have to get restripped. Now there, that looks pretty rough. Um, '59 Chevy Impala. Uh, again, I, I may have just bought that for wheels. Uh, this was one of those, uh, I think uh, there were the Jesse James cars for a while where it was, uh, you push down on it and it was a low rider and push again and it's not. It's a regular size car. Uh, a Whoppers. Chevy Nomad. Uh, that, I think that's a Cockney cab. Uh, the GMC. A motorhome, um, a thing of JB Well putty that's solid. Uh, these are kind of neat though. These I got from uh, went to uh, Daytona to watch the Bud Shootout in uh, 2009, apparently February 7th, 2009. And uh, after the race, we were able to go into the pits. Um, I think there was a concert after, and while we were going down into the pits, we went past uh, Kevin Harvick's uh, stall, Happy Harvick, uh, and they were sweeping it up, and they were handing out these lug nuts, so these actually came off of uh, his race car, and it says right here, February 7, 2009, Bud Shootout, winner number 29, Kevin Harvick, so uh, those are pretty cool. Um, there's all kinds of different cars. Um, hmm. Don't know. Uh, lots of tubes, which always come in handy. I think I used most of these to hold Hot Wheels while I was painting them. That's why they're flattened and crimped. Uh, of course, I grab one that doesn't. Two, three, whatever. <laughs> where it has a uh, the casting line and just that's how it would hold it I have better methods now um, uh, I don't think this was the letter getter but uh, I was restoring these I did one I apparently didn't do the other don't know where this came from it's a pencil sharpener actually uh, Anyways, I got this stuff right here, and then I have a 
few other things. These customs that I was working on and actually kept track of. Um, this one was a uh, a uh, Anglia, an Anglia that I was turning into a semi truck, and uh, put the body together with uh, JB Weld. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, that was how I put it together. You can almost see the JB Weld inside. I need better lighting. Um, but I was making it <laughs> into a semi type thing and was going to put this trailer to it. And of course, I had these nifty NASCAR tires on there as well. Uh, the project didn't finish. Um, some fenders, I guess I thought I needed. Uh, this one was a, uh, was the, uh, a surfing school bus and I had taken it and I was gonna put it together and make like a almost like a double decker bus kind of like the uh, the old uh, GMC Cena Cruiser I was gonna do something like that and so that's probably a project that I'll be working on and uh, of course you know this is how every postal truck should be you know, that was another project I started on but didn't finish. Um, and then, uh, of course, doing this hobby, you amass quite a collection of tires, engines, bodies, interiors, uh, glasses, these, uh, axles with the rims on them if I can get it to separate the axles with the rims on them and then of course lots and lots of uh, tires and I think these actually were from the um, they still put them out the, uh, the except these were Johnny Lightning actually uh, but M2 puts out those M2 garage cars that's what these were uh, except Johnny Lightning. Um, just other other things. It's old. Some stuff is old. It looks like a, a Sam Walton truck, but it's way up. Uh, these things are always good to have. Good for holding small parts or doing dioramas. It's good for uh, like the sand or the grass or whatever you're going to uh, spread out. Um... This one uh, was an old muscle machine. It was black, I think, at one time. But uh, I think I was doing this one to practice uh, how to not get lines straight. I think that's what I did on this one. Um, of course, this is just another box that's not much different than, than this pile right here. The old Dodge. Uh, this was a high raker. Um, that's probably not a custom. That's probably just gonna stay that way. Um, for a while, I was collecting all of the muscle machines in black, and uh, got quite a collection. But ended up not really doing anything with them. And then uh, just lots of stuff. You know, just uh, different ideas, different projects just different cars that I have and some of them are a little bit old or older um, but they're you know all ideas and I would usually put a custom in a bag if I had an idea um, and of course the other thing is I have about five of these where it's and, you know, flips over and it's both sides. And this one I have a lot of GMC motorhomes. This uh, I know it was a SWAT truck, and you could you could look in the back at one point. Uh, this van, the California cruising van. And 
station wagon. And as we all do, I'm not going to open this one, we get an idea in our head so we start collecting every single vehicle of that model, which I did with the planes here. I think I actually had the idea of painting them up like the uh, the red tails. I know they're technically not P-51 Mustangs, but I was going to paint them up that way anyway. So, this is all of the uh, die-cast stuff that I have. Uh, I'll do another video, I'll show you some of the diorama things that, that I do have. And um, talk about that and how you don't necessarily have to go to the store to buy stuff or diorama. A lot of things can be found in your own backyard or on the side of the road. Well. I guess this is it for now. Uh, I think this video is probably too long to begin with. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I actually do want to thank uh, Deep Junk Garage for giving me a little boost and the inspiration to start my channel and get it all rolling. And, of course, all the other guys that I've been watching, uh, Georgia Hodges, um, uh, Keith at uh, I think you guys know where he's at I can't believe I'm forgetting these names anyways uh, um, there's a lot of them out there and I, I really thank all of them for the inspiration and so but thank you very much again for watching and uh, that's it for now and uh, catch you later bye